Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at one technique that we already saw before, which is the technique to design the UFC 158 poster of Nick Diaz and George St. Pierre uh, for the welterweight championship of the world. And so we're, we were taking a look in the one before about how to use the technique uh, to design the poster. In this one, we're gonna do the same, except we're gonna do it with a different technique, a faster one, so that you can use it for your uh, projects. Great, but before we start, we're gonna take a look at our sponsor for today. And of course, our sponsor is Mercados.com. And our focus is to uh, help businesses of all sizes make more money through the use of strategic website design custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at mercados.com. Mercados.com. Great. So, I'm here in Photoshop, and you can see that this is, of course, what we're going to be doing today. Uh, basically, a mock-up of the uh, UFC 158 poster uh, design that they put out, that the UFC put out. So pretty, pretty much is going to look like this. And I'm not going to go into the details of the poster uh, because you can check out our previous uh, video cast for this. So I'm going to keep my text layer and my highlights and lights. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on how to do the, those in this video cast. Um, and the other thing that I have here that I'm going to be removing so that I show the technique is just this gradient and map. Uh, adjustment layers here. So all I'm going to be starting with is a layer with um, George St. Pierre and another photo of George St. Pierre. Uh, basically this layer is going to be the background and this is going to be the foreground. And so I could of course change this to be Nick Diaz. Uh, in this case of course I'm just going to use George St. Pierre for both of, of, the, uh, of the setups here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background. And so I'm going to go to adjustment layers and add a gradient. This gradient, of course, is going to have the blue and light blue colors of the poster that you want here and hit OK. So I'm selecting gradient linear with an angle of minus 180 degrees and then hit OK. So that's going to constitute the background. So I'm going to move that all the way to the back. Great. Then after that, I'm going to select an adjustment layer that is going to be a gradient map for the background George St. Pierre here. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on the George St. Pierre layer on the background and click an adjustment layer. And at the very bottom, it says gradient map. So that's the one I'm going to be selecting. And I'm going to click on top of the gradient, select once again the blue and light blue. Uh, gradient and as you can see the darker areas of the lightness channel of the GSP layer are being masked to the lighter blue as opposed to the darker blue which is what I want so all I have to do here is change it to reverse or check mark the reverse and as you can see now it looks normal as opposed to uh, the other way around so if you define your gradient layer the opposite way uh, then or your gradient the opposite way then of course you're not going to have to do the reverse and then you're going to uh, get rid of that and then what we're going to do is as you can see this is very dark because it is effectively replacing my entire lightness channel with that gradient and so that's not what i want i want to preserve the lightness of this layer but i want to use the the color of this upper layer or gradient map layer. So I'm going to change the blending mode of that gradient map to color. So it's only providing the color for me. Uh, but as you can see, it actually changed also the background because I'm putting this layer on top of everything. So it's masking everything that is below it. And of course, I don't want to do that. I just want to mask this immediate layer that is underneath. To do that, just right click on top of the layer and click Create Clipping Mask. Therefore, it's only affecting this layer now. 
And so you can see that now we have like the normal background that I set in this gradient fill layer on the very bottom. Uh, then I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this layer because it's like really more transparent, like so. And there you have it. Then of course, like the rest of the details. And you can go into uh, everything that we covered last video cast, which was adding the highlights, uh, the blue highlights that they did with the inner, uh, inner light effect and so forth. So if you want to do those effects and uh, the highlights here underneath, then check out the video that we did before. But for the most part, this is a faster way using a gradient map. This is a much faster way of accomplishing the same result. Uh, but now we of course have like different uh, techniques at our disposal. Hopefully this has been fantastic for you and that you've learned some more about Photoshop. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below in our YouTube channel. For more information, don't hesitate to contact us at mercados.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.